Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about Intune tutorial. So in my last video, I was um, I was explained like how we can create a dynamic group or normal group and uh, what are the types of group available in our Intune console or what type of membership we can assign to that group. So if you have not watched that video, please go back to my YouTube channel and watch that video. So that is important to understand the group concept. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how we can create a user group and the dynamic user group. So let me start this video. So first we'll take a uh, very basic example with the, um, the security group. Uh, that is group name, I can say users or you can type it anything whichever you want so user uh, with direct mem members shp sip rule or you can say it like assigned rule also so don't select this option because this will give you the option to assign the role and we are not going to assign any of the role for this group just we are going to add machine directly to this group so now uh, here you can take a uh, ownership so you can uh, assign any of the owners or multiple owners you can make for this group so let me assign the owner uh, this is the one group i'm adding as an owner and uh, here is uh, let me give the username so i have here two users with the ones uh, let me take this or the three users i can take or n number of the users we can take to add in this group so now we are ready to create this group so, uh, group type is security uh, group name is users and this is a like a direct membership rule i can say or assigned membership you can say uh, and uh, we are not going to assign any of the role for this group so let me create this group and we'll see it how it will work so now just click here and uh, now our uh, group is created let me click here and we can see in it here like direct membership is three and uh, groups are zero we have not added any of the group inside here even though we can add the groups also no devices are here others zero uh, group membership is zero and the owners is one so let's see the more information uh, about this group overview is these are the details what we selected when we was creating the group membership so here we were added the three groups inside the uh, inside this group. So group owner, this is the Harvan Singh is the group owner for this uh, group. Administrative unit we have not assigned. Group membership we have not assigned. Application licenses none. So uh, guys, that's how you can create a group uh, where uh, with the direct membership rule. So this uh, this is a, like a normal group where you are adding the users manually inside the group. So let me take a one more example where you are creating a uh, group with starting with the some name I can say like uh, if the username is containing uh, with some specific starting word. So you can create. Uh, like that also so group name i am creating like uh, uh, ha user or or anything whatever you feel so this group will be containing user name starting with har so uh, let us create a dynamic query where uh, I can fetch the detail whichever user are starting with HAR or with the specific department also we can take it. So first let us take this example and now we can select the uh, dynamic user and uh, you can make a owner for any of the user. Now let's write the query. So here we'll, uh, we have to go with the display name and uh, here are the lot of properties are there based on these property you can use and you can create your group so you can use like a accountable or not or object id display name uh, uh directory sync enabled 
uh, based on the city or uh, the company name or country department so anything you can use it whichever uh, fit in your the requirement so let me go with the display name and here i can use the match operator and now i can say hrv star so now it uh, this group will contain all the users name are starting with herv so let me just click ok here and and now here is the user is creating it's actually users so let me click here uh, immediately it will not give you the data here because it will be taking some time to calculate the query and uh, then it will source the data here so uh, even though you can just click here and check under the membership uh, so once the query is done in backend you can get the details here so meanwhile once uh, oh, until this query will update it I can show you the one more example so let me go here and uh, just create a group uh, IT users I can say and here I can give the group description all users related to IT department and here let's go with the dynamic query membership we can assign anything and now let us write a query which is containing uh, which is which is belong to a specific department so let us select the department operators is I can say equal to or here I am selecting the IT department so make sure if you are putting here the value it should be matched with the, your user property department value should be assigned inside your the user property so now query is ready and you can click on the create and here is the user uh, it users are creating created so this this is like a, a dynamic group and uh, which is containing the it department machines you can go here and you can check it so as i told you earlier uh, the query will take some time to fetch the details and then you can able to see in under the membership so meanwhile we can do the other practical also the query will calculate the details in the back end so our next requirement is like let us create a uh, query for uh, which is containing all the users list so this all users let's type the is, is, is small uh, description here so group name i can say like all users and uh, so this or i can say like all users list and here let us go with the dynamic query again assign the membership and then write the query so how i can write the query uh, here is like i can say uh, the display name uh, it's not equal to not equal to null value so i'm just trying to show you the multiple uh, things because when you are creating the query so you should be the familiar with the operators and the property as well so click anywhere and then it, it will show you the query so this is the query user dot uh, display uh, not equal to null uh, i mean uh, if, if the user is available in your um, uh, in tune console so obviously it will be having some display the username so blank it's not possible to create so that's why i put it the null value which is not equal to null and it will take all or rest of the value that will be calculating as a all users so now let us create it and we are good with this group okay so now all users group also created here and as I told like here this value will shows here after some time so let us check our the other group whether it calculated or not okay so this group we was created before some time back where our uh, the dynamic rule was saying like contain all the machines which is the specific department like related to the IT department so now I can see in the value for this group and uh, the membership you can get it here how many members are here so uh, it's it's able to fetch details only the three users even i have the four user in my uh, intune console so these all three users related to the it department
let us go with the other user with the um, we created like a uh, he users so let's see how many users come so here uh, uh, with the with the rule is uh, two two members are um, you know is, uh, is calculated here uh, with the query so it's like harvan singh and harvan singh other username are containing like starting by once so that's why that two users are missing here so let's go with the query how how it looks like so this query was using the display name starting by h a r v and it's giving you the data and here is the user data in and uh, the other what we created all users we created so let's see whether it's able to fetch the details or not so still uh, the square is calculating the data after some time uh, you can see in the details all user list here or you can do what you can do you can go here and can refresh so still that query is calculating data in the back end and that automatically it will refresh and shows you the data here now let us go with the another example which is uh, the group type is a security here and uh, you can give the group name uh, the the group type is like uh, microsoft 365 group type we are creating uh, then uh, here you can type the group name uh, what you can say it's like my team i can create a group and uh, my the team dl id will be my team or i can say it is like a uh, it team i can put it that will be the better so it's like a it team will be the group email id you can uh, mention it here this group dl for it department or it teams and here now uh, again the membership type if you want to add a members is directly membership then you can use this assigned or you want to add uh, like a dynamic query you can use it but in this microsoft 365 you cannot add the devices here so devices won't be support under office 365 sorry uh, microsoft 365 so let us do the practical first with the assignment assigned so here is the same thing as you can go with the ownership and you can add the users whichever you want uh, with the uh, directly you can add it here and now you can go and create it so here you can go the it teams and you can see in is the how many users are here so these are the uh, two users are part of this group so that's how you can create the your group with the microsoft 365 and here you can see in this group type so this group is our uh, group type is uh, microsoft 365 membership is assigned and this is your the dl i'm sorry and this is the your email address for this particular group if you want to take another example let me go with this and uh, selected uh, 365 uh, group name is is like uh, all it users so what you can put uh, this group for all it users so let us go now with the dynamic query and we can assign the membership here and add the query again and based on what whatever or uh, if you are talking for the all um also you can go with the display name and it is like uh, not equal to like for the null value and here will be your the query and you can save it so uh, again this query will take some more time to update the data but obviously you can see in the uh, data here all users is it showing anything no still it's not calculated or uh, not done the process in the back end or you can check it for your the others i think we we checked this one this query also under the progress but um i given you the example for the dynamic query like uh, for this this uh, 
this is for the assign all it users i think this i shows you so how it will calculating in the back end now so you have the the dynamic query for this all it users let, let's see again if it's can able to fetch no uh, still it's not giving the data but might it will take one or two minute more then you can see in the data under the membership so anything i missed out guys so you can comment and tell me uh, what kind of query you are looking to create uh, um, create your uh, collections uh, sorry groups based on the device or user so you can put me the comment and uh, i will try to write the query and uh, reply you on the chat window so these are the things and uh, let me take a one more example i don't remember with the of microsoft 365 suppose you have like i can put it now test uh test group and here this is for the the testing uh, no let me put the name is like uh, global administrator global admins and we are going to create a global admins here so now this time what we need to do we have to use this option to assign the roles so just click here yes and uh, assign the user whichever you want user then membership you need to assign it manually you want to add which whichever user you want to make it like a global administrator you can select here the membership and select the role here like search it here as a global administrator so this is the go, uh, group sorry role uh, you need to assign like a global administrator or you can use the any of uh, um, any of uh, roles here which is already accessed or you can assign that role types to that group so let us make it like a global administrator and just create it yes And here is a global admins now click here and you can see in it like a membership how many members are inside this group so these are the three users we selected even if you want to modify this group so you can click here and can assign the any other group so you can just uh, write, uh, select it and can do it so this group is already there this group is added it, it will show you the uh, this group is added but actually it, it should source the error this group is already a uh, member of this group but it's not showing uh, might be this is kind of a bugs so now again i added the one more group and it's showing like it's added successfully now it's the part of this group so that's how you can update your group here now who is the owner for this group so this group owner is harvan singh administrative unit is nothing group membership is nothing assigned role so you can see in it here or oh, what are the roles is assigned to particular this group application and other things we have not done anything in my the coming video i will show you how you can do that so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video about the more in depth into the intune so thank you guys see you soon in my next video